Greetings, Royal Enthusiasts. It's delightful to have you back for your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we delve into the latest revelations, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon for all the exclusive updates. Now, in the aftermath of Hardman's new book, Charles III, New King, New Court, The Inside Story, the author minced no words during an interview with GB News Breakfast, especially when addressing the dynamics involving Harry and Meghan. The scathing critique painted a vivid picture of a couple easily offended and harboring a deep sense of resentment, perceiving themselves as perpetual victims within the grand royal narrative. Hardman highlighted the couple's reaction to various situations, pointing out that the Sussexes often feel slighted and believe they are the targets of a calculated campaign. The crux of the issue lies in their apparent inability to accept responsibility, with a tendency to cast themselves as victims regardless of the circumstances. Harry's book, in particular, was singled out for its incessant focus on me, 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 according to Hardman, portraying the prince as a solitary figure in a sea of indifference. This self-obsession, as alleged by Hardman, undermines the collaborative nature of the royal institution. The once promising duo, poised to make substantial contributions to the Commonwealth, now seem to only emerge from the shadows to express their discontent with the challenges of royal life. Hardman expressed skepticism about the Sussexes returning to the royal working unit but harbors hope for reconciliation within the royal family. Despite the evident rift, there's a collective desire for family ties to prevail, and a semblance of unity to be restored. One of the most shocking claims from Hardman's book involves the Queen's reaction to Harry and Meghan using her private nickname for their daughter, Lilibet. Hardman alleges that the Queen was angrier than ever after the couple suggested they had sought permission to use the name. It's clarified that the Queen was upset not about the name itself, but the implication that permission had been sought. As we navigate this tangled web of accusations, one thing becomes clear, the royal drama shows no signs of abating. The Sussexes, intentionally or inadvertently, continue to be the focal point of controversy, leaving the public and the royal family in a state of perpetual uncertainty. In conclusion, amidst the emotional highs and accusations, it's crucial to demand transparency and accountability from those living their lives in the public eye. The saga of Harry and Meghan continues, and we'll be here to dissect every twist and turn. Share your thoughts in the comments section, and stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thank you for watching, and we'll be back with more fascinating news about the royal family.